Normally, when this is your first time starting Order Spoon, you will start with a quick start wizard, which will help you to set up the most basic features so you can start taking orders. We will start with setting up your store, that is actually just the last part of the URL. The URL or the link is actually us.orderspoon.com slash your store slug. That's how this last part is called. So this link will help you or will serve you for websites, buttons, QR codes, etc. So this is just a very useful tool uh, just to have it ready right now. And for future references, you can always use the same link. Remember that if you change the slot, you will have to change everything else on your website, Gel, Google My Business, because the link will change where your store is located. Now let's change it to configure your pickup order. In this case, um, this is the default service that will provide us an online order. There's delivery, there's QR code ordering, there's room service, but this is just a default in case you want to offer this at first. So it is enabled in my case as I'm offering takeout first. And we will start with receipt title. Receipt title is just the way the orders will be printed in your Clover stations. And this is just an indicator or a little kind of a way to recognize an online order. That's why I used ONL. And if you roll out numbers, every order will come as ONL001, ONL002, and on. The fee name, fee type, and fee. We spoke about this in our introduction, and this is because maybe you should be rewarding the effort that you are doing for putting all of this together. So an online service fee is something very common, a very common practice. So you can add an extra income to uh, every single order that you are, well, that you're receiving from your customers. So in this case, let's say that I'm paying for the basic plan that is uh, 79 cents per order. And maybe I can add a fee of 80 cents. So I will compensate for the expenses that way. It's a very nice way to cover some of the expenses and also uh, rewarding your own effort on making this happen. And this will apply for pickup, delivery, contactless dining, and other services that you could provide under orders. There is a way to add a name that is very um, specific. Or for example, maybe you have a paperback tax in some states that's something that's happening and maybe this is expensive you, you really need to take care of so you can add this as a fix uh, or as a percentage amount and this will be the fee percentage or uh, amount in dollars uh, that will be charged to your customers for every single order minimum order will be to filter out certain orders that maybe are too small for you to attend or maybe they are not worth it to pass through your online ordering system. This is something that you should consider uh, as uh, you know your business in this case. So in my case, I will not want to have a filter. So I will just leave it at zero. But if you put $50 every time I order something, it will remind me that I'm not reaching this minimum so I cannot place it until I reach the minimum. Average preparation time is just a, a very basic preparation time that you can have for every single order. There are many ways to add more time as multiple custom prep times and also a dynamic preparation time or how many people can order during a time slot. But this is something that we will discuss uh, further. So uh, for now, I will just use the 30 minutes because I think it's very basic. And on the right, we will have the schedule or working hours. Normally this will take your hours from your business account, but in my case, I already modified everything and I already have my schedule completed. In this case, you will notice that I have two days here with a different time interval. So you can always make as many slots as, as you want. And this will count for a a lunch break in my case. It is 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I have an interval in between where I'm not working and my store is not accepting orders during that time. So this is a good way to adapt your business, uh, whatever kind of restaurant it is, or it maybe it is a bakery, maybe something that takes more shifts or less shifts, or it is an evening shift. So you can make it work the way you want with this many slots. Let's continue 
and now we have our notification system here uh, we manage SMS messaging and emails we always recommend emails just because um, willing to emails because you won't have problems with your carriers your carriers can block our SMS messages at any time if they perceive it as some kind of spam so it is always recommended to have one email enabled just to make sure that every notification is coming through and the SMS messaging it's really nice too um, you can filter out certain orders uh, maybe it is a very huge order that you want to be overlooking or you will want to be overlooking and you have the pickup and delivery filters here so you will only receive uh, pickup orders above $100 so you don't have to receive every single notification from every single order let's continue and we're almost there in this case we need to fill out a form with our contact information be it from a training or a schedule a training if you don't want to go through the whole process this is where you can decide to continue or not with our video you can always schedule a call with us um, with our customer uh, team or you can go and just use our google form and just fill your information with your number email and primary contact info just because we need to have a clear channel of communication here as we have more recommendations or more concerns about your store not being finished or having some issues we will need this contact information to make sure that things can go through smoothly and then we just complete this option and you can call us or you can open your dashboard to start setting all by yourself.